the Lord is beginning to take us higher. He's beginning to take us to places that he needs for us to believe. We are beginning to believe him. We are beginning to believe his love for us. And this is unlocking the supernatural treasures of heaven. I was mopping my floor and this is just an example for you to see. This is just, this is a small testimony of my personal experiences to how the Lord communicates and it shows me something new. So we know that the written word says that even our thoughts could be taken captive to the authority of Christ. Even our thoughts, we can take captive our thoughts in the authority that we have in Christ. So I was mopping my floor and this new level of speaking and this relationship that has been broadened in my life is I tell, I'm constantly telling the Lord, I still can't believe it, Father. Everything that he does, every moment that he, and, and it's every, everywhere. If you look for him, he's everywhere. He desires to show you how with you he is. So I was mopping my floor and I had just made a call in reference to something that the Lord needed me to take care of. And um, immediately in my mind, um, I was like, I'm getting a call. My phone was upstairs. I'm downstairs doing my chores, right? Cleaning the house, doing what I have to do at the home. At, at home. And something told me to go check my phone. It was like the Lord was not something. The Lord told me, the spirit within me told me, go check your phone. You're getting a call. And this is a constant uh, relationship. Like the Lord is constantly trying to um, show us and, and build our trust. So he'll do little things, quirky little things where I knew he was telling me to go check the phone. I was getting a call and it was specifically this person that I was waiting on a return call of. I didn't go do that. So I was like, all right. Um, I continued mopping the floor. <clears throat> I go to ring out the mop and I'm ringing out the mop and, bef and, and, and in this specific mop, it's like one of those um, uh, twisting ones, like where it rings itself out, like as you push down the pedal. And I remember <clears throat> previously at my old home, I had one and it, it had broken, you know, um, and, I, and I thought in my mind, I'm like, oh man, I got to be really careful because I could break this thing. This mop I have been using here for about seven months and I haven't had an issue. But the moment that I think this thought, um, the clutch, the thing that rotates the mop to wring it out, it skipped as though it was going to break. In that moment, immediately I perceived the Lord was telling me, your thoughts have power. You are reaching to new levels and the Lord needs you to know the authority that he is releasing through you because you trust him because you believe him you believe his love for you love is unlocking the supernatural riches of heaven the depths of the heart of god is pure love everything that god has done was out of love sending his son to die for his creation was love sending the holy spirit to help us as our companion was out of love. Everything that he does every day is out of love. Every, every, everything that we would call suffering, you, you get to the point, I promise you, you will get to the point where you are going through a trial and it is no longer suffering. You will rejoice. There is something in this next level, this promised land, what we, we talk about in scripture, it is literally a higher frequency level where things are just happening. The riches of heaven are released in, 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 as, as you trust and believe his love for you. My body, after he freed me from that traumatic experience where I testified on here a little, maybe about two weeks ago, 
I, I, I believed his love, that he loved me. He loved me enough to free me from something that I, I thought was a part of me. I thought that fear uh, that I was just pushing through was a part of, of life. And he freed me from something I didn't even know I needed freedom from. That's his love for us. After I reached that place that, wow, you love me, Father. You love me, Lord. You love me. It was like the whole, my whole life, the atmosphere in my whole life, the frequencies in my whole, everything, I, there is something has changed. What I would call the favor of God has been released in levels that I have never experienced in my life. I'm talking about the favor of God in the most random of places. It doesn't matter how small or how big. You begin to see how much the Lord loves you and you believed him. So now he's able to expand in the supernatural, the treasures that he wants to release on you because you trust him. I began since that point to, to realize and recognize that my body is being healed from the inside out. My soul needed healing. Our soul goes... Our soul is what Satan wants. Our soul is what goes eternity to heaven. This is our nature. This is a, our soul is what is perfected. Our, our soul is what is sanctified. My soul was freed from that bondage of that oppression, that fear. And these, this not only is it an, an inner cup, the inner cup is clean, is being cleaned and washed. And now it is, it's coming forth out of the outside of the cup. There are things that are happening in my body where the Lord told me, do not fear. Little pain in certain areas, things that have been going on in my body that haven't been able to. Uh, it is like this new level of this new, uh, this new place of love, of, of believing his love for me has unlocked specific healings that I have been waiting on for years things that I've continued declaring, things that I've continued believing him for, but it's something happens in your soul, in your spirit, when you start to believe him, that unlock the supernatural. And so the Lord, there's things, certain pains in certain places of my area, of my, of my body, things that are happening. My skin is being rejuvenated. We, I'm telling you, the sons and daughters of God are going to be transfigured here on earth. People that much of the church is waiting to reach heaven, to receive everything that has been promised to them. But our inheritance, we are meant, our inheritance was given to us when Jesus died. When a, when a person died, dies and leaves a will, an inheritance for a child, it is available for that child after they have died. He then rose and gave us all authority. That authority, that inheritance is here for us to receive now. All of the promises that are spoken of and beyond, because there are many mysteries that the Lord desires to reveal to us as we trust him. We've got the surface, which is the written word. But there are depths, the ways and the truth of God are so deep and so wide that no one can contain it. Even for all of eternity will take us to know the depths of the love of God for us. We can reach and be transfigured. Many of us will not see death. The exceptions, as I've testified on here before, we are the exceptions. The sons and daughters of God, because we believe him, where the church has told us that we are crazy or where we have had to keep our mouth closed because we have just felt that we couldn't go into that deep a conversation with even the body of Christ. It was because we have been called to something greater. Not because we deserve it. Because we believed him. We believe him. God bless you.